Welcome to 100 Days of Infiltrating Dungeons and Structures. This video contains my the mod IDAS, along are. with other mods on screen. This video is also this video is also quite a doozy, so let's go over what this is going to look like while I start gearing up. The first thing is I'm in survival for this series. This is because these 100 days are a checkout of this mod for doing it again later in a hardcore series. So let me know if you'd like to see that, and let's aim for the goal of 25 likes and 1,000 subscribers for that series. Also, I didn't edit out every little detail so I could have this done by the deadline, so you may see things like my sword is suddenly enchanted in the next clip, or I suddenly have mending on my gear. This sort of thing won't happen often, and if it is done in the video, I'll explain what it is enchanted. So, without further ado, let's do this thing. On day zero, I killed the seals and discovered new ores. I liked silver. It looks way cooler than iron, but even though it's worse in quality. I also found ants and got into a quarrel with gorillas that almost got me killed right off the bat. Uh... One second, I'm in the middle of but what did get me killed was a skirmish with a siren. This was annoying. On my way back to get my stuff, I found a village inside of a tree, which helped me get supplied with basic gear and enchantment books. It also has a really cool wood chopping mechanic. On day two, I found my stuff, but it was eaten by a sea monster. Fun times. The sea monster did some epic boogie moves, though. Day three. I killed a raccoon to see what it dropped. It wasn't worth it. Like that sound. Oh, crud. He's on me. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Uh, I was then attacked by a dragon and decided that I would add my own fun twist into this little day series. Since dying two dragons would keep setting me back, I would have the, my, the world on peaceful while I was around dangerous things. But as time period progresses, the difficulty will amp up, and it will eventually be locked onto hard mode when I use the strongest armor in the game. That is, if I can even get to that. Maybe I shouldn't add it. Nope. Nope. It saw me. Come over here, bud. Dude, he's burning. Oh. KFC? Don't worry, this is the only nest that I loot on peaceful mode. Day 5. I found a kangaroo, but I couldn't bring myself to kill it. After that, I found a structure that would become my home. Alright. We found... Wait, is that... Is that a villager base? If it is, that's an end game thing. Yeah. All right, I think this should be our base. If it's not playing, okay, it's some sort of village. Is this the village or castle? Oh yeah, we're def. This is our base. I looted it, and it had pretty basic stuff. I found. I also found some cool mechanics on day six. Day seven. I. That is just awesome. I traded with villagers and found some interesting enchantments. By day eight, I got mending. I had the world on easy, so I got to see these two mobs fighting. It wasn't long until I turned it back to peaceful around these dragons. Uh, ogre and uh, dragon fighting. It's just that skeleton over there. Oh no no no! This is my getaway boat. Uh, day 9. To the caves! The next couple of days I went caving and got some pretty good results. I also found interesting and new things in these caves, along with new loot. Whoa. Oh, what? I got a drop. Plus one riptide. Day 10. I also found diamonds. And... I kind of forgot Why? the deep dark existed. Is that a ghost? I discovered some interesting mobs, and, and I had some fun moments. What even is that? So here's a quick montage of what the caves were like. Sir? <laughs> ah, that made me jump. No. Okay. Ooh. This biome has tons. And there's a blue one here. 
That's so. Does that still give darkness? What is? Uh. It's a. Oh, what? Did it just steal my sword? What did I get? Chest slayer. Kill a mimic. Increases. Diamonds. Day 12. I finally exited though that monstrosity. Day 13. I found these really cool textured dogs that I would eventually come back for. For some reason, I'm back in the caves. I forget no. why. Okay, this is bad. Uh, whoa, that looks sick. Ha ah, ha ha ha! This place is sick. This is the basalt delta in a cave. Am I supposed to be concerned? Day 14. I found a bunch of new and cool things. Day 15. I returned with various items from that caving journey. And then I came back to my base getting burned down. Fun times. I then organized my stuff and I finally had diamond armor. Let's see what the... Okay, that was... Let's see what the nether looks like. What the heck? What? After a pathetic nether enter, I left immediately. Okay, the nether is an interesting place. Don't ask what happened to day 16, cause I don't know. Day 17. I found buried treasure and a random ritual site. Day 19. I began work on an XP farm. This lasted until day 23. Day 23. I used this XP for chanting, then I bred cows. Day 24. What? For the last time, the dragon attacked the villagers, so when I killed it on Peaceful, the world was now unable to go back to Peaceful. I grabbed some of its scales and improved my armor. The server is on easy mode, so I know it was kind of cheesy. Day 25, I killed the grizzly bear. Day 26, I built a string farm that doesn't work because it's on forge. What a waste of time. Day 29, I resorted to rotten flesh as an emerald source instead. Yes, my sword is enchanted. I believe it had looting 3, unbreaking 3, and sharpness 4. Day 31, after AFKing for a while, I enchanted more of my gear. Day 32, I found out that I could pick apples from trees. This combined with the gold from dragon nests would provide plenty of golden apples for later dragon fights. That night I began the dragon hunt. Day 33. Just kidding, I waited a whole day for the dragon to fall asleep so I could sneak attack it, but it didn't do that, so here we are at day 33, fighting the dragon. We're staying back. Dang it, I didn't kill it with the looting sword, but... Whoa. Day 34, and another. Now we go in. I killed it, let's go! Oh, here are the puppies. Yes! Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. And a waystone that I found and placed at home. I used it to go back to a previous one at the village treehouse to grab the special gear that I saved from there. Man, I killed another dragon. No, I can't. There. Wait. I was a coward. Oh. It's almost day 35 now. Oh, hey, we almost died. I I gotta love the fire immunity mechanic. Uh. Oh, how did. How did he break it already? All right. Oh, those are annoying. Oh, those are annoying. I left shift. Man, this dragon was a pain. Bro, whoa. Let's go. All right. Yes, okay, without getting first the scales. Day 35. Why is catfish stealing my loot? It's still half of the scales, by the way. I added mending to my gear. That's nice. I then made a fire dragon chestplate and enchanted it. Wait, no. I need levels. Day 36. Now I enchanted it. 
and added mending using the emeralds I had gotten from Rotten Flesh. For a while, I thought these flying things were dragons. They're not. So I wasted multiple days chasing them, only to realize they're completely different than actual dragons. Silly me, this is why it's the trial run. But hey, I found another dragon again. Let's go. Day 37. I also found a new waystone. And this cool tower that has really useless stuff in it. Whatever. I was attacked later by a lightning dragon. Dear. Yeah, we're gonna set my spawn. Oh. Come on. Fine. Bro, he's killing the villagers. Bro, why the iron bone? I kind of wish I bottled its blood, because, spoiler alert, this is the only lightning dragon we could find in these 100 days. And by bottling its blood, we could have made a pretty cool sword. What is this? It gives me strength three? Oh, should have saved that. Day 38. I found an abandoned train. It wasn't that cool, but it has food. Back to fighting dragons. Day 40. Days 40 and 41 were wasted looking for dragon nests in the water, but I found a cool shipwreck and got my revenge on the sirens. Day 42. More dragon fighting. Yay. Hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. There we go. Oh, and there was a Cyclops. There we go. I found an interesting and annoying dungeon that I left pretty much immediately. Wait, is this a... Wait, hold on. Is this... Um... I did get a lucky hat, though. Day 43. Oh yeah, there was also a key there. Day 44. I found a Hydra's nest, but a dragon wanted my blood, so I had to deal with that. I got a mini-map so that I could find dragons more easily, and boy, was it worth it. I killed nine fire dragons. Now, it's in now the world is in normal mode. I've been looting the dragon nests, but it's just been really boring. I found a cool village guarded by a dragon. That fight was pretty fun. It lasted overnight. Day 45. I also played with a slingshot. Probably the most useless item in the game. There were also about four of these pillager camps in the series, so I'll just show you this one. I think I actually show it again later. I used a waystone to get out of there and search and I searched for dragons in a different direction. Day 46. This is the recipe for Dragon Forge fire bricks that are used to make the best armor in the game, but they cost lots of dragon scales. For example, four Dragon Forge bricks takes 45 scales, and with dragons that I was fighting, I was only getting about 20 scales per dragon. They were stage 3 dragons. If I wanted the best armor by the end of these 100 days, I would need to search underground for bigger dragons, which are stage 4 to 5. While searching for these, I came across three of the pillager bases, but this was the only one I interacted with. I then went home to craft more of the blocks needed to make a special furnace for the super armor. I found yet another dragon, and another on day 47. And my first ice dragon. Look at all these. Oh, he's mad. And my second ice dragon. Day 48. I need to get better at this. It is now day 48. Oh, hey, my third ice dragon buddy is here. And after finding two of different dragon types next to each other, maybe they will fight? Yeah, follow me. Fight. Hopefully. They sadly didn't fight. Time to kill them. They're both. Wait, now are they?
I fought my first sea monster. These things are just pathetic. Oh, Day 49. I found tower. a new tower. If you're wondering, this is where my food has been coming from. Back to dragon slaying. Yay. The sun is rising on day 50, and I'm fighting yet another dragon with some lag issues. Hey, you made it halfway. Congratulations. I'm going to ask you to subscribe and press like. And remember the goal of 25 likes and 1,000 subscribers for a hardcore series with the same mods. Anyway, back to this series of days. It only makes sense we are slaying more dragons yet again on day 50. The minimap I have makes it super easy. I spent most of this day traveling back home, fighting dragons along the way. Oh, correct. <laughs> I love this. We also found a Cyclops den with really lame loot. Oh, what biome is this? Shrubland? This is awesome. Skipping to day 55, what? I used Pyre methods to there locate a stage 4 fire dragon den. I'm gonna leave most of this fight okay, intact for this you. This is bad. What the heck? Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's bad. Uh Okay. I don't want to open a chest right now. What the Oh wow, he actually died. 57 scales! This new scale revelation of about of getting about 60 per dragon now, I just might be able to get the best armor in time. By the way, my current armor is full protection for mending, with a couple of unbreaking pieces. So this armor is already pretty good. Day 57. I implanted a few of the pieces for the Dragon Forge. Don't ask why I chose to put it inside the village base. I fought a stage 5 dragon on day 59, but not without prepping first. I trapped this one using special material. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yes, got it. Now it's stuck here. Did I get him? Oh my gosh! I'm killing this, and I got an egg from it that I can use to have my own personal dragon, who's part of making the dragon steel armor when they are of the right age. Oh. Got it. On day 60, I made a trophy room of all the bones of the dragons I had killed, and I planted the egg in fire for it to hatch. I also crafted some dragon meal for, it for the dragon to grow. The dragon hatched soon after, and it was really cool. On day 63, I fought another under I fought another underground dragon. Got it. On day 65, I made a cutting board to cut meat in half for more efficient dragon bone meal production. On day 66, I wanted to make a the dragon stage three so I could ride it and use it for the dragon forge, which you may have noticed it was built by now. I went to the nether to get wither bones, which are needed for the dragon steel weapons. By day 68, I made my dragon iron armor, and the dragon was now grown to stage 3. I kind of cut that out. So then now I could use it in the forge. Next, I crafted some dragon steel armor. Finally, right on time. And I also made a dragon command staff. On day 69, I enchanted my new gear. On day 70, I found another underground dragon so that I could use it to get more dragon blood for the dragon steel farm. On day 73, I had enough dragon steel for weapons and a helmet. I also found out that the dogs I had befended could hold items, but wouldn't fight mobs. 
Sounds like today's dogs, oddly enough. On day 74, I had some creepy cave experiences. On day 77, I went to the nether to gather wither bones for the wither bone bow and arrows. I soon found out how powerful the it was. On day 80, I went back to gather all the emeralds from the nest I had looted, using my Fortune 3 Dragonforge Fire Pick, which had an ancient tome enchantment to make it Fortune 4, so I could use these to level up cartographer maps to which tell me where to find dungeons. On day 85, I went back to the treehouse to hire a cartographer, but he just ran away. Bruh. Then I enchanted my items and made a fatal mistake. <laughs> you cannot take these off. Sadly. Up. Next, I went searching for another village, going through two cartographers without any maps. Photography table. Aw, man. This is selling me banners. Huh? Don't ask me why. Day 87. The compass was acting weird, so I followed it. It led to nothing. I did get a map from a wandering trader, and I figured, why not follow this map? When I followed it, I found a new village with a new cartographer and elephants. But the cartographer... Pillager Fortress. And finally, the cartographer yes. gave a map to the second hardest yes. dungeon right. in the game. Nope, we're leaving. Oh dear. Is that thing trying to- Oh! Okay. On day 88, I raced over to the dungeon and found this really, really Kill creepy place. Yeah! That I'm never going back to. And then I immediately met Bilbo Baggins and I finally had looting on my sword from his anvil. Looting. On day 90, I finally found it, the second hardest dungeon. I don't want to voice over the entire dungeon, so here's a simple montage of the next few days. There's... Seems gonna be... Quite a few bad guys. Where are they spawning? Where are they spawning? Where are they spawning? Just kill them with my pickaxe. This isn't particularly hard. Okay, they're just... Damn, I'm up there. I think it's all good. They're coming from up here. Where are they spawning? Uh, I think we're gonna leave this place later. We just need to make sure- Oh, there's- Okay, I'm hearing people here. We're weakening them. It, the raid bar keeps going up and down. Alright, next floor. Looks like- I don't like that noise. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Glad I have this sword. Uh, this is to explore later. Whoa. This is actually neat here. Great XP farm. No spawner, right? Yeah, it would probably just here. So many books! Alright, we'll loot this later. We need to finish off this dungeon. People over here. Oh. Alright, we're... Oh, yeah. What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is there another one? Alright. Where is this guy? This is chaos. Where's the guy? 
Oh wait, is he over here? Where is he? There he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh, I had to mine that. To chill out now as we just go. I have a pal. Yeah. You know what? It didn't work because I changed the frequency. Ha ha ha. Is that a netherite helmet? Dude, use it. On day 93, I was attacked, and I spent the rest of the days building something amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think we kill it. Kill it. Not dead yet. Where's my food? There it is. Okay. It's day 100. Congrats on making it this far. I built an aquarium for my pet, but it broke, so here's the rest of the tour. You may be asking, where did I get all this stone? Well, this is where. S see if you can spot what the signs say on this ride. I hope you enjoyed this little video, so please subscribe and press like if you want to see more like this where I go more in depth and discover more dungeons, tackle the hardest dungeon, and do all sorts of suggestions that you guys have in the comments to name my pets. See you next week.